Hey guys, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the video number 516 and uh, you're watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Pramar and I'm, this is Ajay Pramar and I'm going to today talk something very useful, something very very exciting and this is something recently I learned it and I thought you know as usual to come forward and share it with you. So this is going to be the advanced level video and here we are going to check how you can export the outlook information, the information which comes with every new email you know when 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 you receive any new email let, let us say you want to automatically create a macro which can immediately pick up the sender email address sender name the time of the email the subject line and if somebody is marked in the cc or bcc you know and the attachments there are a lot of things you can do so i will tell you the idea I will give you the code how to uh, actually make this kind of a code right so as you can see this is the part number two if you haven't watched the part number one then please go and watch the video number 515 in that video I talked about how to open the excel from the outlook now guys again I'm repeating this is actually something we are doing for the first time maybe for the second time uh, out of these 516 videos I always talked about how to control the outlook from the excel as you can see here this is the one of the playlist how to control the powerpoint from the excel how to control the access how to control the ms word but in this video we're going to do the reverse we're going to check that how to control the excel from the outlook so we are going to uh, make the code in the outlook vba right so that's going to be very interesting now this is the playlist sequence if you want to watch the videos in a sequence this is for you many times you keep on requesting you keep on asking me over, over the emails over the uh, you you post your comments that how to go about uh, you know the learning process how to start your learning so this is the excel vba excel access and access vba playlist sequence right so now uh, let's go and talk about this so right now as you can see guys uh, I have the you know the emails here uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, let me just explain you that whenever you receive any email in your inbox we would like to capture the email information like who has sent out that information what was the subject line you know and we want to not only hold that information but we want to actually hold that information but at the same time we would like to export that information in the exit right so let's go quickly to the developer tab and and you, you can see here i'm going to make this program in the outlook vba right i already explained that if you want to write the program and if you want to open the excel vba then this is actually the code for you right this is the code for you the very small line code this i explained in my previous video and this is going to tell you actually that how to how you can open the excel workbook right so first of all what is the first thing i want to do now the first thing which i want to do is now guys how will you come to know that the email has come in your inbox and we would like to export the email information in the excel well we we will definitely create an excel object in this and we will open it but what particular thing is going to make sure that the email has come and now the macro should run because in outlook you cannot create the buttons right now the thing is for this we are going to use the outlook event now if you are new to the events I must tell you that go and watch the excel vba events playlist events are the self triggered macros they don't wait for your instructions they wait for the criteria if the criteria is going to match the macro will automatically run this is the beauty of the events and that, that is the reason that they are one of the very exciting and the fantastic subject uh, you know I ever actually learned in the VBA uh, there are so many things in the VBA but events are fantastic please go and watch my all the videos in the events uh, playlist and you start watching the videos in the sequence right the sequence which you get to see there so they are very fantastic now in the output we are going to talk about the event which you can go and choose from here application select the application from here and this should be in the this outlook session remember don't write any anywhere else now you see that so these are actually called the events item sent item load and then new email new email x and then there are so many things right even i do not know because you know um, well I, I mean we never uploaded the videos on outlook VBA because i am not somebody who uh, writes the programs in the outlook so this one is very special for you now in order to check that the email has come and in order to 
you know meet the requirement and the requirement is to you know export the information in the excel we are going to use this new email ex event there is one more event new mail well don't use that use the new mail x i will be talking about this the difference between both these events maybe in some other session but for today you have to make sure you should be using the event called new mail x both are different events and for to achieve our target we are going to use the new mail x event right now you see that when i chose that new mail x automatically i have created the subroutine with some information like application dot new mail x and then by val entry id location i'll tell you the use of the entry id location but so far i think you un understood that what is this new mail whenever the email is going to pop up in your system this event will automatically run i mean this macro will fire they will not wait for your instructions and everything will happen you know in the background now what do you want to do well guys when you when i want when this email comes in my e you know this uh, inbox i want to quickly run this macro so what i want to do i want to actually open the excel so go to the tool and the reference make sure you should have this microsoft excel 6.0 object library activated you will not see this library by default because you after all you're working in the outlook environment so make sure you have this microsoft excel library on once you have that library on this is where you need to write the program so first of all we will make sure that our application should be you know activated the excel application should be created so this is what i'm going to write excel dot application and set excel equals to new excel dot application i have already explained this so i'm just going to make this quickly so i make it visible and this is your excel application which is going to be visible and then you can use this workbooks open event right this is uh, actually not an event but a method i'm going to open the workbook existing workbook which i think i have written the path here because this is something i explained in the previous video so i just copy this so there is a file actually on my desktop guys with the name of employee details dot xlsx now i want to open that file let me show you the file because this is the file where i need to export my all the information every time when the new email receives right so this macro will run every time so i just go and delete this so i have already uh, i was testing this code so i have already you can see created three fields here you can create more fields as well uh, email subject sender email and email date let me save that file now guys what i want to do is because i'm working in the sheet one so what i will do i will refer this sheet one as an object so i, I quickly go and write down ws as worksheet and then set ws equals to what is your your excel is the application and then you're going to write the workbook's name so in my excel application the workbook name is employee details dot xlsx once you have done that then you go and create the sheet the name of the sheet right now my sheet name is sheet one you can see in the excel this is the sheet one so i write sheet one and then what do you want to do the next thing what do you want to do well i just want to keep it like this only because this will make sure that ws should be treated as my sheet one of employee details excel workbook right now what is the next thing guys we want to do well the next thing we want to do is we want to capture that email okay on which we are going to work because what happens you're going to write here ws dot range and by the way just uh, make sure you prefix the excel as well i think because excel you're going to work with the excel excel is the external instance so just write here excel dot ws and then or maybe it's not required let's just keep it simple ws dot range because you have already uh, defined here excel dot workbooks right so i simply go and create the range and uh, so from the range um, a let's say 1000 dot end xlr okay offset me by one row so i assume that you know all these things guys because this is the advanced level this is not the beginner level video right so here now we will create our email which i'll name it as my mail for example so we will go and create the subject i want to import the subject there now so now guys let's go and create the email because obviously you have to work with your email so we will write here uh, then my mail as outlook dot mail item this is how you define the your email now i'm uh, we will have to create this object my mail because after all you're going to get the information from the mail only so we are saying that my mail is going to be 
considered as the mail item class because mail item is a class in the outlook which represents your email right i actually had explained a lot of these things in my videos guys just in case if you're new to the channel uh, uh, just uh, uh, you know uh, go and visit the Excel VBA Connecting Outlook with Excel. You'll find there 46 videos on Outlook. Trust me, you'll you'll definitely enjoy all of those videos. They they are all very fantastic videos because a lot of you have been asking me, you know, uh, uh, ever since this channel is running, and I am just trying to help you out and assisting, you know, in your day-to-day -day projects and uh, uploading the videos. So you'll find all the videos there on the Outlook, uh, the, you know. Uh, every video is, I mean, the practical is a practical video. It's not just the any discussion on the subject. So, uh, so this is what I have done. Now, the important thing is, guys, that here uh, we don't want to create a email. Generally, what happens if you if you have seen my previous videos, let me tell you this point. Uh, generally, we write like this. We create the email like this. You know, email item. But as I always say that uh, this Outlook mail item is considered for the emails. Now email can come, email can go. If email is going to, you know, is going to be sent from your end, obviously you have to create the item. But in case if the email is coming to you, you don't have to create it. So th this is the difference. This is a very important difference, right? So you have to make sure that your email should refer to the existing email because you are going to receive the email. You are not supposed to send the email where you go and create the new email. So this create item method, we will not use it. Let me comment this. I could have avoided this uh, particular discussion part, but I think it's very useful for you to understand that in this particular thing, we're not going to use the create item and why. So what we will do here is that you have to write to your email like this. You go and write set my mail equals to application dot session dot get id get item from id start the bracket and here you need to write the entry id item now guys here we are going to write this which is coming in your brackets you know entry id collection this is a vba word now that is why this actually new email ex event we have written now what is it but basically this entry id collection whenever the email comes to you it will have some entry id which you should not be bothered about it at all but you have to capture that because when the email comes how are you going to let the vba know outlook vba know that you're talking about you're talking about this fresh email you're talking about this the email which has just landed up so this entry id collection you're gonna write it here right so let me uh, first of all now what we will do we will quickly go and i'll just copy this code and paste this code again and again so here i will just write here my mail dot sender because i need the you know the sender email address and then here you will write the time when it is received so maybe you can say that uh, received receive time right so you see that when you press my mail you get to see a lot of properties of the email associated with you know your outlook email so you can use a lot of lot of other things i'll just finish my code here now we will put the break code here because i want to obviously show you this code in the step by step mode so now you see this is my excel file which is empty let me just close that now this event is going to run whenever you will receive a new email so i just go and let's say uh, I go in the home tab and I write an email. I'm going to send this email to myself, obviously. So here we will write testing going on, right? Now let's say somebody sent out this email to you. So I'm just going to send it out to you. Now let's see, this is this event should automatically run whenever we have this email, you know, coming on this. So let's just wait for this. So as expected guys, you can see that the moment the email comes, this is going to run. Because I put the break code, it is going to wait for my effort, the step by step, you know, from where I can take this code. But obviously, when I'm going to complete this, uh, you know, the code, I will remove the break code so that you will never actually be seeing this, the VBA window and the program, you know, keeps running uh, whenever you have a new email. This is just to explain you. So let's go and run this. So there we go. So I go and press F8. Now Excel application is going to be created. I have explained this in my previous video. So let's not waste the time on that. This is simply going to open the employee details Excel file. So as you can see here, I've got the 
you know that file my ws is going to be created as an worksheet object which will be my sheet one actually just the way of writing it so now let's go and see that now you, if you look at this if i just hover my mouse over here if i can show you this entry id collection uh let's let me just put it here uh just a second i just go look at this guys now this is some uh, number which is generated right this is a long number actually but we are not interested in you know what exactly it is this is i'm just showing you so that you should understand that this is there is a string number which is generated right now this number actually entry id look collection this refers to the email which is just received so my email is going to now refer to this you know the entry id collection so in other words you are saying that my mail now is going to be referred to the email which has just you know landed upon your inbox so let's go and run this okay so now we got some problem here uh, could not open the item try again uh, well let's do just one thing because uh, excel let's get the excel open later so i'm just going to cut this line reset the code and let's put everything here let's open the excel once we have defined the your email okay this is the one okay so i go quickly and i click on the new mail and i just go and hit on here so again i'm sending one more email so let's say testing 444 i send this email and there we go now let's go and check that out so finally the email has landed and this event is fired now let us check that if we are able to get through this or not so i go and run f8 okay oh i see so again we have got the error could not open the item so what is the issue with this could not open because i uh, thought that it's just the, that i have to paste this um, in the above code uh okay so we are able to get the entry id collection um this is coming okay i see that i think that the problem is that it's already in the string you can see that the double quotes are there so let's just go and remove these double quotes because it's it's already in the string form now let me run this guys okay i'm doing it everything in front of you no editing in the video so let's run this all right so there we go so i think we got it now so the, this my a oh wow wonderful you can see that my mail which was showing blank now it is actually testing triple four so that was the problem you remove the double quotes from this because uh, entry id collection is already coming within the quotes so let's not just put that again in the double quotes right okay great so now let's just run this and this is going to open the excel right so let's quickly run this and there we go so employee details is opened and now i want to see that if i able to capture this so you can see here that i got the subject line so which should be coming here testing and then the email which is my email id you can see that ajay.bama 1981 uh, this actually is wrong because i should have written here b because it should go in the b and this information should go in the c anyways let me rerun this so there we go you can now you have this in the b column and similarly this you know the receive time also should go in the you know yeah the c column so let me just close this and let's see so guys there we go so th finally we are done with that so every time now when the new email is going to come you will have this information coming here and make sure then you know you should uh, actually also go and you know save this uh, the workbook so we can write here that the workbook should be saved or we can quickly uh, go and you know uh, close this as well so we can see that uh, details dot xls x and dot close and make sure you save the changes so that user should not be prompted do you want to save the changes so that's why i'm writing it true automatically the changes will be saved so this file is going to close and then maybe i can quit this application from here right so now if you have to see this code running on the quick mode let me remove the break code from here okay so everything is removed from here and now let's go and check that if we can you know do this again or not so this is my um, the employee i just say, uh, go and you know save this so i go and save this information i got this file open twice actually uh, let me just go and save this again let's save the file that's why you know you see it is actually open as read only so i just go and overwrite this with my employee details save the file i want to replace this okay so let's 
All right, guys. So we have the employee details here. Now let me quickly go and uh, send out some information here. So I again go and send out the information. So let's say we write here, "Good morning." Okay, I just go and send out this information. Now the, the moment you know, I should have this email coming here. Let me refresh F9. Uh, let me quickly press F9. That's gonna refresh my this email so the moment i get this uh, you know the email the macro should run it opens the excel and exports the information there and then save the excel and you know close it so you won't see much you know uh, i mean you will not see that what is happening because a vba window will not come the macro will simply trigger right that is how it is going to run so let's just go and uh, check that out so you have to be uh, uh, patient with me because uh, uh, it, it is taking a little time to refresh the email and uh, once we have that email showing on my this inbox I'm sure the macro will immediately run right now I can't pause the video because then you will not be able to see how, how the excel is getting open and closing so uh, let's wait I mean for this a wonderful code and uh, let's see how it is going to work now guys you know everything is interesting in uh, Microsoft uh, Outlook VB is also very interesting, right? So gradually, I think we should also start learning the Outlook VB also, because uh, we have got so many videos on Excel VBA, Access VB also, but we really don't have so many videos on the other applications like PowerPoint VBA, MS Word VBA. Uh, though I started a recently a series on the MS Word, but that's all about controlling the MS Word from Excel, not the vice versa. So I'm talking about the controlling the excel from these applications you know that would be a fantastic thing all right uh, so let me check that if i got that email on my sent or not because it's taking a lot of time so yeah it's there in my sent it is showing in my inbox it's not coming let me refresh again so let's see when the email is gonna come or maybe i can pause the video and the moment it comes you know i'll uh, or maybe I'll, I'll just edit the video. Just wait. Alright, so finally we have seen that the good morning email has come and you can see that guys Excel opened, exported the information and closed it. Wow, terrific. So let's just quickly go and stop this video. Let, let us see that if we have got the results. As expected guys, you got the result. Good morning with the sender email address and the email date. So this is fantastic. I want to show you quickly the code and then you can pause the video and you can see if you, you know, you, you under, understood this or not. This is fantastic. Uh, and one very important thing that how about this, you know, using the application dot session, get item from ID, entry ID collection. Remember, this is very important line. This entry ID we are using and this is we are using because email, we are not using the create item because I don't want to draft any email, new email. We are talking about the existing emails which are on its way which are being sent by you know the other people right so that's why we are just capturing the entry id location right so this is the code for you and um, i'll see you then soon in my next video talking you know giving you some more information on the outlook part so thank you so much for watching and as usual i request you to subscribe to the channel and support me thank you so much for watching guys bye bye